the secret of the water industry. If you want to understand the water industry, this video is going to be able to do that. Now, the, the industry is broken up into three different categories, and you need to understand these three different categories so that you don't run the risk of toxins getting into your family's drinking water, and two, you don't waste your family's money. Now, you're wondering, how can you do that? Well, let's make sure that we understand what a water softener does. A water softener takes the rock out of the water. It also removes radium-228, 226, and barium. These are toxins that might be in your city's tap water. Or if you live on a well, it's possible that it could be in your well water. So you want to understand, you know, how there's so many choices out there. It's like people pull their hair out. They call me. They email me. They, they comment on Facebook. They comment on uh, YouTube. So I want to be able to help you navigate the water treatment industry because it is complicated. And I'm going to show you why. Well, first of all, let's understand that it's broken up into three different categories. The manufacturers or retailers or people who sell this, let's break that up into three different categories. There's big box. So big box manufacturers, these are companies like uh, Home Depot, Rainsoft, Lowe's. You get a big box, it's sitting on the shelf, you're walking your cart by, you're like, hey, maybe I want to buy that. And on the side of that box, it might say, five-year warranty. What does that mean? Well, let's be realistic. It's on the tank. It's not on the fact that it's going to soften your water. It's not on the fact that it's certified to take out the toxins. It's not on the fact that it can handle the water flow. So there's a lot of criteria that goes into water softening. I mean, here's what you need to understand. There's chemistry, there's physics, and it's mechanical. Mechanical is a plumber plumbing it in and draining it correctly because we don't want to drain it incorrectly. We also understand that there's physics, meaning if I have a larger tank with more media in it, it can soften more water and it can also uh, handle more volume of water. So you have to understand if a water softener is larger in size, then it can handle more volume of water. So that would mean, oh, if I have a larger home with more faucets and showers and more people, well, we need a bigger tank. An itty bitty little one won't work. Same thing with the chemistry. If the water has a lot of rock in it, like you're on a private well, the itty bitty little box ones don't work. We need more physical space. So when we're looking at big box items, big box sounds great because you're $1,000 for a water softener. So you're like, okay, then I have to hire a plumber to go and install it. Now you need to be very careful. Your job, your duty as the head of your household is to uncover what the true warranty is. Is there any filter material warranty? So we're going to write down filter material. And then we're also going to write the valve warranty. So you're going to actually have to research that. What we find, and being the service center for most of them, is the valve has a one-year warranty. The tank has a five-year warranty. And the filter material has a zero warranty. <laughs> yeah, zero. So basically what, our, what, what we have to do when we service them is keep them going so that we can get to the one-year mark and then the, the big manufacturer's like, whatever, it's up on you and you got to take care of it. And then guess what? The consumer says to us, what should we do? We're like, might be time to invest a little bit more money and get a little higher quality product. We see the lifespan of these guys being between two and five years, depending on your water usage, as long as it's sized correctly. Most of the time, those little itty bitty things are being put on very hard water. It's not meant to do that. Yes, the specs say up to 60 grains hard water, but it doesn't do that. So you have to be very, very careful because they exaggerate those claims on that unit. Then we have the sticker companies. Now this is why so many people call me, is the sticker companies. What does that mean? Well, if you've seen some of my other videos, I sort of highlight the fact that it means that a company like Chuck and the Truck they rolled up their garage door, said, we're going to start a water company today, and they're going to call a local distributor to buy the control valve or a water softener from. They slap their sticker on the outside, and then they sell it to you. Yes, 
some of these people put together great websites and they look amazing and you're like, wow, this has got to be a really big company. I mean, I get so many comments from people with all these names. They're like, this place is huge. And I'm like, did you do your homework? What I mean by that is, did you actually look on the website and find the address, copy that, place that in the Google Maps and press find and then do the aerial view of it and see, is it a huge factory? Or is it just a storefront? Or is it someone's garage? <laughs> so, so many times, someone can really have, has a child, has a family member that does a beautiful job on Google, or excuse me, creating a web page, but the reality is they're just a sticker company. And here's the dilemma with sticker companies, is that you don't really know what you're getting. There's no spec sheet. There's no performance data sheets. They didn't submit it to National Sanitation Foundation to prove their claims. They're just telling you it's a water softener. So here's what I implore you to do. Realize that this is an industry where most people buying it say, a water softener is a water softener is a water softener. It's not. There's three categories of type of manufacturers out there or retailers. There's the big box, then there's the sticker companies. And you need to be buyer beware with the sticker companies. Most of the time they're buying a control valve made by Fleck, Clack, or Autotroll. And those distributors that buy those control valves slap them on, side, on the top of a tank and then they fill the tank with media. Now the problem is that distributor that Chuck in the truck goes and buys it from, guess what? Those guys, the distributor can do anything they want. I'll tell you a quick story. So we did this, right? Back in, you know, 15 years ago, in 20 years ago when I first got into this industry, we would buy them from, we would buy our water softeners, put the angel name on the outside of the water softener, and we had units lasting 25 years. And the distributor that we bought it from was great. You know, it had American-made control valve. We used Auto Troll and Fleck, and we switched to Clack. And here they are, a distributor, local distributor was assembling it. We had great, great experience. Then time moved on. And what did they want to do? GE bought Auto Troll. Fleck is Pentair. That's a, a public, publicly traded company. And Clack is a very uh, well-known company based out of Windsor, Wisconsin. And all these companies wanted to be making more and more profits. So what did most of them do? Outsource their products to be made in China. They didn't update their equipment very well. They didn't really upgrade the control valve. And they just made that top of the valve, that control valve, the very top of the water softener. Then these distributors wanting to reduce cost, they would buy a Chinese tank and the Chinese resin to go inside there. And no, we found as we started using these, they were having problems. They weren't lasting very long. So now we're sitting there going, what's going on? Well, the media was getting mushy, water pressure issues, three years into owning and people are complaining. We went back to the distributor and said, what's, you know, what's going on? And we found out that they were using Chinese resin. We said, stop, we want American-made resin. So we started buying them again. We started installing them. We last for another year or two. And all of a sudden, we were having problems again. And so uh, one day, I go to pick up my, our water softeners. We didn't quite de define that we were still having that issue. And I'm picking up the water softeners. True story. I've got my van outside. We're about to load them in. And they're still assembling them. And I look in there, and the salesperson's talking to me, and he's talking to me. And I'm watching, there's a big vat hanging from the ceiling, and they're pouring resin inside the tanks. American-made tank, American-made, what I thought was American-made, auto troll control valve. And, but there's Chinese writing on the side of the big, uh, big uh, resin tank that's filling it with resin. And so I didn't really, it didn't click on me, right? You know, I've got someone talking with me. We're loading them up. I'm running late. All of a sudden, I start driving back to our shop with all these water softeners in the back. And I'm like, hit my brakes. I'm like, gosh, damn it. Oh, Chinese, I remember now, I'm like, I didn't catch that. Flipped a U-turn, went right back, opened up the back of the van, and told them, get this crap out of here. I walked up to the president's office, slammed open the door. I was mad. Why? Because that distributor told me I had to pay $50 to $100 more per unit so that it would use American-made resin. And guess what? I saw them filling it with Chinese resin. So I was being lied to. I lost my marbles. I got so upset. I got so frustrated. Why? 
because I'm making a commitment to my customer that they're getting American made and it's going to last a long time. And I was providing a 10 year warranty. And here he is cheaping it out and making an extra $100 on me. So I lost my marbles. And that's when I started uncovering the other dealers out there in the marketplace, the professional grade. Now, that sticker company concept, I mean, we were it. Now, we weren't just a chuck in the truck, we weren't just one person out of a garage. At that point, we had about 15 employees. Today, we have over 70. And so what I can say about the sticker company stuff is almost everything is made in China. And it's only it's your responsibility to really uncover from that sticker company, do what do they have? Are they worthy of your investment? Because it could be an online company or it could be a guy that's in your neighborhood. But the first step that you have to do is take a look on the website. Look at that address. Copy the address. Paste it in Google. Go to the map and see if it's a factory. I can't tell you. I have companies, people who are saying, oh, this is sold on Amazon. It's a big company. And I do the same thing. Every single time one of you reaches out to me, I do the same thing. I go to their website, copy the address, send it to them and say, you can see that this is just a small little warehouse. They're bringing product in and out. And then I send them a picture or a link to to uh, Eco Water, where you can literally see it's thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of feet of a factory where they actually manufacture it. And they proudly put their name and their address on their brochures. They don't try to hide it, which most online companies do. And so you need to have that due diligence. By the way, the sticker companies you have to also look out for because are they licensed? Are they bonded? Do they have insurance? The one thing that I was always concerned about is if I make someone sick, you have to remember, I came from the health care world, so the last thing I want to do is get someone sick. And if you've assembled a water softener by putting filter material in it and their drinking water goes through it, if I had dirty hands, I made that filter material dirty, guess what? They could get sick from it. So we have to have a huge insurance policy. Five million dollars is what we offer. That way we know that we can take care of anybody if we happen to make a mistake anybody's issue. Your job is to check on that. Is it up to date? Do they have workers' comp insurance? So if someone gets hurt on the job, your insurance doesn't pick it up out of your house if you have them come in the home. So those are some of the big warning signs about sticker companies. Again, no NSF certification. It's assembled by some distributor. You have to iron out. Don't take someone's word for it. Ask them for proof. Ask them to see is the resin, the filter material, NSF 44 certified? Is it made in America? Where's the tank manufactured? By the way, little known secret, GE, you think American made? It's made in China. So it's like almost everything Ch GE did was to make their profits higher. And in order to do that, they subbed everything about 10 years ago go out to China. And by the way, they raised their prices on all their parts, so that's how they made all their money with the auto troll purchase that they had. So sticker companies is number two. Number three is professional grade. Now professional grade is going to have, uh, so we're going to label these one, two, three, three categories of different companies. Professional grade, we're going to give the mention to these corporations. So first of all, there's Culligan, there's Rainsoft, there's Kinetico, there's EcoWater, and Chandler. These are all companies that have been out there for many, many years servicing it. Culligan, of course, being one of the oldest, along with EcoWater. Both about 100 years old. Both were the ones that sort of invented water softeners. EcoWater was under a different name at that time, uh, but EcoWater is the name that's owned by Warren Buffett. So those companies exist for you under professional grade. And we say professional because these are companies that really understand what they're doing, not, so, not really assembling units like the sticker companies. They actually have a professional network of dealers that sign up, and then they do regular training, and they do regular uh, education, and they sell, but they sell that dealer only their product in most of those cases. Like a Culligan, you can't go into Culligan and say, I want an Eco Water water softener. It's only Culligan. You can't go to Kinetico and say, I want a Kinetico, I mean a Culligan water softener or Eco Water. Can't do that. Now, at Angel Water, we are an Eco Water dealer and we could do almost anything we want, but we chose Eco Water because it does 
end up being one of the, it's one of the best of those five out there. Again, out of those five, here's what makes it so great. You need to evaluate those professional grades. Sometimes there's not an EcoWater de dealer near you. But here's what makes EcoWater so amazing. Made in America. You got to ask that because let's be honest. Culligan was made right here in uh, Northbrook, and today it's made in China. Yet on the box and what they, on all their brochures, it says designed and assembled in America. I mean, I have clients who are comparing us to Angel or to uh, Eco Water and Culligan, and they go, hey, they, theirs is made in America. And it's like, I don't want to say no, but I mean, that's not true. I'm like, please read the detail. If you, just like anything you buy of any product, make sure you read it and understand it. I realize it's like on the cursory look with their American red flag, American flag that you're like, oh, it's American made. No, it says designed and assembled. There's a big Chinese company coming in from, from China that's been making a push in America, and there it says it all over it. But the whole factory's made in China. It's built very inexpensively. So that said, you have to do your homework, and that is actually the truth with uh, with uh, uh, Culligan. Same thing with Rainsoft. Now, Kinetico, I know that product's still made in America, and Chandler's made in America. So we, we understand that made, made in America is pretty important. But out of those five, three are made in America. Now, out of those three that are left, which one is NSF44 certified and ISO manufacturer? And also, which one can you get a 10-year directly-to-consumer warranty? That leaves one guy standing. That's Equal Water. So that said, I know that this is, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, you're just an eco fan. It's like, well, I mean, what I can just say is I'm all about having fewer service calls, which saves you money. I'm all about a product that lasts the longest, which saves you money if you're going to keep the house for a long time. I'm all about a product that does what it says it's going to do. And the best way for you, the leveling, you know, <laughs> whatever you call it, leveling stick that you're able to say, which one is best? How do I know? It's going to be one that has an NSF 44 certification because, again, that goes right back to that the manufacturer paid the $100,000 to National Sanitation Foundation. They threw thousands of gallons of water at it, and they made sure that it not only took out the rock out of the water, it took out those toxins. So when I say you need to be aware of this, it's important for you to understand it. Now, if you check out our link below, you're going to be able to find out what toxins are in your water. By the way, if you like this video, please press share. Share it with your friends and family, and also please press like and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed this. Now, if you want to understand anything more about water softeners, you can always reach out to us at angelwater.com, or you can also call us at 847-382-7800, because our whole team is passionate about two things. One, to be able to help you save money, because when you do remove the rock out of that water, it doesn't ruin your dishwasher, your laundry machine. You don't use more soap. You use less hair conditioners. You end up, you don't ruin your, your uh, shower stall, your toilets. I mean, I can go on and on. Your dishes, your silverware, your refrigerator, every water you use in appliance. So we can go on and on. And you can check out one of my other videos about what rock does to your home. You can see that literally a water softener is going to help you save money for your family. And number two is if you get one that's NSF 44 certified, you're making your water more healthy for your family. And to me, that's why I'm in this business. I'm in this business to be able to help you save money and make your family more healthy. So that said, my name is Drew, and I am here to serve you.